Hi, I'm Dave Beery, Superintendent of Zealand Public Schools, and welcome to the first in a series of videos explaining the exciting iPad rollout for our students. Joining me in the studio today is Tony DeLora, math teacher at Zealand East High School. Tony, welcome to the show. Thanks, Dave. Tony, this is an exciting time to have iPads for all of our students. Can you uh, explain to us what the iPads um, will look like in your classroom? Sure. Uh, I plan as a teacher to use them uh, almost on a daily basis, probably at least for uh, the five days of the week, and uh, to have my students using them to do a lot of investigation, exploration of math concepts that will be learning about and uh, have the students doing a lot of the um, kind of just answering the questions, the bigger questions. So my role as a teacher, I really see changing, uh, kind of not so much the primary content deliverer in the classroom, allowing the students to really go and get that content, do the investigations, the research, and uh, really trying to lead them by guiding them through questions and uh, connecting them to uh, the bigger concepts uh, and really going deeper with them with the content. So if I was a parent or community member and I just kind of walked into the classroom, what would I see students doing with the iPads? Uh, a range of things. Uh, first of all, I think that they're going to be doing a lot of uh, investigations. So our students will be using these devices to, to research the concept. So they'll be uh, in, in a math class particular to geometry, they'll be dragging and manipulating um, drawings and, and finding out the relationships between some different uh, mathematical concepts. and. Uh, and then we'll, as a, as a class, kind of discuss those. On um, the other hand, they'll be collaborating with each other. They'll be sharing some information. They'll be typing up some notes together. They'll be um, feeding each other different questions and um, learning from each other. Uh, in another sense, they'll be uh, all taking a quiz. And uh, then they'll be able to see the results immediately. They'll be able to see what they got right and what they got wrong. And then we'll be able to address those uh, misconceptions right there in class. Do, do, is there a possibility that they would be a distraction? I mean, what if kids were like playing games on it or, or texting their buddies? And how do, you, how do you address that as a teacher? Sure. As a teacher, I think that uh, we have to be vigilant with that. And I think that there's going to be the temptation to, to be distractions. But I think that uh, these are where our students are at right now. This is the digital age and they are uh, already here. They're already wanting to learn in this manner. And I think that we got to set some good uh, boundaries for them and uh, keep them engaged with it and not just kind of uh, keep it aside and, and hold it as this kind of this toy. I think that th this is a true learning device and mm -hmm. uh, if they see that uh, that is authentic in our eyes that we really hold that as a true learning device that th I think they're going to respect that and I think that uh, they're going to really use it and it's going to increase their level of engagement in class. Mm -hmm. How do, uh, is there particular apps that, that you'll be using and if there are like what what are those apps and what are what would they be using those apps for? Sure. Um, uh, some note-taking apps. Uh, we'll be using some some PDF annotators so uh, a great way to, to go paperless um, is to, to use a lot of the the iPad note-taking apps um, and uh, some other creation apps. Uh, so students have uh, an app called Show Me, and Show Me is a, a free app that students can then capture their voice and their screen recording so they can work through a math problem uh, on the Show Me app. They can record it and then they can post that to uh, the web and, and then I can evaluate their understanding of a particular math problem per se. Now, Tony, how do you as a teacher address the issue that you may hear as a parent um, in the community that says, I don't know why students need iPads. We didn't have iPads when I went to school. A pencil and paper was good enough. Isn't this just an overpriced uh, toy that they'll be using? How do you respond to that? Sure. Uh, I think that it can probably seem that way. Um, but again, like I said, our kids are already here. They are in that technology, uh, they are the technology generation and they are um, learning at a much faster rate than uh, w what we were learning at. And I think that kids are, are, are willing to go there and when they step through the, the doors of a school, they, they want to be engaged in that technology. We have to, uh, to meet them there and I think that, um, I think that this is going to uh, really increase our level of understanding as students and, and staff and, uh, and get us into that 21st century learning. Mm -hmm. what, what, 
what would a student be doing at home or outside the class with the apps? What are some activities or things that they would be using the iPad for? Sure. One of the great things about the iPad is that your, your classroom instruction time is no longer 60 minutes and um, inside the walls of the school. The iPad really allows for students to uh, be learning outside of, outside of school time. So iBooks is one of those apps that uh, we'll be utilizing uh, for teachers to put their, uh, some of their content on the iBooks um, to uh, have some really dynamic text and um, ability to, for kids to, to read um, outside of, of school time and take notes off of that. Um, they'll be able to create um, some of those screencasts we talked about uh, through Show Me app. They'll be able to post um, you know, notes to their blog. Uh, they'll be writing for a, a much larger audience and not just their teacher but uh, you know if their teachers would put that out on the, their blogs and they'll be writing for uh, you know a national international audience so some of it is I know that students will be receiving their iPads this fall during the registration process uh, teachers in Zealand uh, received their iPads this summer what were some of the activities or professional development that was occurring this summer for teachers in preparation for their iPads uh, teachers came in and they received their iPad they went through a, a couple hours of training um, with our technology director Steve Bronius and uh, yeah they learned some of the the basics to getting around the iPad and you know one of the great things about the iPad is you you place it in the hands of, of someone and they're just um, intrigued to figure it out and so they they go and they explore and they figure out great uses for it both as a teacher and as a student and they um, you know, they're going to learn some more stuff when they come back. Uh, we have a couple more professional development days at the end of, uh, sorry, at the end of August and the beginning of September. Um, and yeah, they're going to continue to gain, uh, I think, confidence uh, about how to use the iPad in the classroom with the students and how to uh, use it to increase learning. Do you think it'll really increase student achievement? Yeah, I do. I believe that it will. Uh, I believe that it will increase student engagement, and I think the student achievement will follow. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, how do your colleagues feel about the iPads? What, what are you hearing in, in the teacher's lounge and, and among your colleagues? A lot of excitement. Um, I think there's a little bit of anxiety, uh, just the unknown, but I think we're ready for this. I think uh, our, our, our staff has just been super excited uh, they they want to get these in their hands and uh, I think they're they're ready to you know get students using them and see how it changes their instruction I think that they're really um, ready for our, our instruction and our teaching to um, be much more collaborative to be uh, really uh, creative in the way that um, mm -hmm. students are you know creating things digitally now for a large audience and I think that uh, it's going to increase the amount of, of, of community ownership I think of, of our education in Zealand. Yeah, yeah. now you know as uh, you know the iPads are expensive, uh, they, they, they're approximately about $500 a unit and stuff, do you think students will take care of the, of the iPads? Yeah, I do. I think that uh, you know by handing them that, I think that you know we're showing them that we have some respect for their their education and their learning, and I think that we will have to work hard to create that that culture around our schools. But I think that students are willing to to walk down that road. I think we create that climate of care and respect, and um, that we really uh, are concerned for their well-being and their education and. We're saying here, here you are at the, the you know the the cutting edge of learning, and you know your role and your responsibility in this is to take care of this device, to to use it for educational purposes, and uh, to really dig deep and, and learn. And I think that they'll do that. Yeah, Tony, thank you for being here and the conversation. It's an exciting time in Zealand Public Schools with our iPad rollout and the technology in the hands of all of our students in the digital age of the 21st century. Thank you so much. Okay. On behalf of Tony, this is Dave Barry saying thank you for your time. Stay tuned for more videos in our series, iPad Rollout for Zealand Students. For more information about the iPad, go to ilearn.zps.org.